Welcome back to the 9 a.m. It is time for the segment we call Right or Wrong. And of course, we're starting with uh, the obvious one. Craig Berube fired. Mm. Right or wrong? You asking me first? Go ahead. Right. You think it's right? I think they parted amicably. They needed a fresh start, doing something new. It wasn't ugly. The fans are upset a little bit. I just question what's next for the guy who fired him, because he's fired previous coaches. I think right. this is the right move for the Blues and the organization moving forward. Like I said they set the bar nice and low to begin with, so what'd you really expect? But fresh start, I think it's right. Yeah. Wrong. I think it's wrong. Wrong? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, when Doug Armstrong comes out of the gate saying, like, look, you know, we don't have the team that's going to go very far this year. If we get lucky, we'll come in third. And then you fire the coach. You know, it's like, well, what, what did you expect? I mean, th th these guys aren't playing. Right. I, I don't think there's anything that the coach can do to change that. I don't think there's anything that the interim coach who comes in is going to be able to do to change the team either. So, and I think, too, you do it on the cancer night. I mean, right, it just, yeah. I don't know. The whole thing is like. Did they wait until this morning? It was maybe? just, yeah. yeah. No. I, I think it's wrong. Um, I'm going to go, I'll go right. I think that you need, you have a, you know, you have a hot goal turn. You go, don't go back to it. You know, you, you get a new goal. You, you get a, the team's not performing. I get it. I think it's the players more than the coach. Yeah. But look what happened when Mike Yo came out and Craig Berube came in. The team was in the dumpster. We turned it around to win a Stanley. I'm not saying that's going to happen for sure. Edmonton just got a new coach. They're starting to do better after having a rough start to the season. Yep. But, man, he, he won the Stanley Cup for it. Well, he and the team, of course, won the Stanley Cup for it. It's, it's hard. It's not, not yeah. a Yeah, It's tough. Fun, you know, uh, Fox 2 alum Charlie Marlowe saying that mm -hmm. it's difficult because – uh, there seems to be a shelf life for coaches. You know, oh, in six, about six years, uh -huh. it comes a time, something's got to change, right. and, and you have to. Well, and Marty was saying earlier this morning, our sports director was like, you know, six years is like an eternity in the right. NHL to be a coach. So, yeah, Bureau has been in there for a while. And especially sure. in today's day and age, it's not what have you done for me, it's what can you do for me. Yeah, and that's true. He's going to land sure. somewhere else. He'll, sure. You'll see him coaching again. All right. Yeah. Good one, good one. Okay, right or wrong. Nacho cheese flavored Wrong. liquor. <laughs> Wrong. What's Sixty-five dollar a bottle. What's the alcohol content on that bag? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, here's the deal. It is Doritos. You yeah. know, the kings of nacho cheese flavor, mm -hmm. uh, and they've teamed up with Empirical, which is quote unquote a uncategorized spirit. So mm. they're not a certain anything. They can kind of be what they want to right. be, and they've worked together, and it's through this infused distillation that they've made the nacho cheese flavored. Liquor. Well, it's PepsiCo. They're the ones who do Doritos. But yeah. still, it's. Well, does anyone want to drink? Like, what are you putting it with? You, is it, you, you drink it straight? Is it a shot of nacho cheese? I, I have no idea. Yeah. I'm in the spirit of saying wrong. I'm with Margie. It's just, <laughs> yeah. I like my nachos. Just no. Just, yeah. What's next? I mean, KFC? Because <laughs> they're owned by PepsiCo. You're too. wrong on that? It's a, it's a wrong for me. <laughs> All right. Lastly, we've got a, a father who was on a flight, 12 hour flight. Uh, Vegas man, and he, the, one of the flight attendants was spoon feeding his five year old son. And so he got video of it, posted, said, Man, is it getting better than this? And he's getting all kinds of backlash saying, You bad parent, what are you doing? How, how would you, you're not taking care of your kid? He's too big to be spoon fed anyway. What? Right, so right wait, or wrong? The flight attendant was spoon feeding his five year old? Yes. Not like a flight attendant. I've seen these videos where they're like walking the baby up and down the aisle, giving the parent a break. It's a, a she's just uh, kneeling down next to him in his chair, while he's got his headphones on. Five might be pushing it. I mean, you know, it's like a kindergartner, isn't it? It's a 13-second clip. Okay. Of a 12-hour flight. I mean, it's I, it's. I, it's nice to see people not screaming or throwing things on a flight. So I'm going to say it's right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if the and flight attendant yeah. asked to do it, yes. hey, can I, can I yeah. help you? Can I help you? Maybe he was, he was refusing to eat, and she right. has a trick she uses with her own yeah. kids or something. I, 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 I got think, no problem with it. Yeah, yeah. I, I think we, we too often take a 13-second <laughs> clip yes, we do of not people's know lives and, and judge on that. Yeah, on that. Right. Like, we have no idea of context. Right. Right. Yeah. Well, there you go. I'm, I'm going to say... I'm gonna say that's wrong that he caught backlash for that. Yes. There you okay. go. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 With you. There. There you go. All right. Keep it here. We got more coming your way. It's the 9 a.m. Stay with us. Yeah.